Hey, what's up guys? It's Jen. We're going to be doing Black Horse in the Cherry Tree by Katie Tunstall. If you haven't ever seen her do this live, please check it out. She is an amazing looper. Um, so inspiring. She's the one that got me into looping. She is wonderful. She'll layer parts live on top of each other. She's a one-man band. Check it out. Check this song out and you can actually find a video of her doing a whole uh, tutorial on how to loop. So definitely check that out. But in the meantime, I'm going to show you how to play this song. The important thing is that you have the bow diddly beat strumming. Down, up, down, 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 up, down, down, down. Now I'm just holding an E minor chord because the progression itself is down, up, down, 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 B7, down, up, down, back to E minor. I'm going to take that just a little bit slower. Up, down, 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 up, down, down, down. That's going to get you through most of it. Because uh, in the verse, she's just scratching. And you can kind of do whatever, down, 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 da, 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 as long as you keep that feel. Da, 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 Okay? Now we go into the chorus where she opens up the strumming a little bit more. And it's E minor to D. Take off your third finger. That turns it into like a D6 chord. And then a C major 7, but... Make sure you mute the fourth string. She only plays it with one finger. And then E minor, D, and then C7, but I don't think she puts her first finger down. I think she just does that. You can put your first finger down if you want to. E minor. So it's like, no, E minor, D, D6, C major 7, E minor, D, C7. E minor. No, 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 no. I said no, no. You're not the one for me. So let's break down that strumming. Down, up, up, down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up, down, down, up, up, down, 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 up, up, down, down. And again, she varies it. She's so good live and she's so good at playing off of what she has just laid down that she changes it up. It's not just down, down, up, up, down, down the whole time. Her playing is super aggressive in a good way. That's not, I'm not saying anything bad about her. I love her. So it's a lot of scratching. It's a lot. She plays super, super hard with a lot of scratching. Stuff like that. You don't have to do that if you're not ready for it. But I would encourage you to, to try. Because it just adds a little bit of a lift to your playing instead of just straight strumming. Okay, so now the only thing that's left is your re-intro. I'm going to save that for last because uh, it's a little bit more difficult with the, with the strumming and keeping everything together. But all you need is your sixth string, open E, and then your E on your 12th fret 6th six, six string, and then your D on your 10th fret 6th string. And she's doing... Open 12, 12, 10. Open 12, 10. Oh, open 12, 12, 10. Open 12, 12, 10, 12. Open 12, 12, 10. Open 12, 12, 10, 12. That's all you have to do. I know that's a little bit weird, but it's a Bo Diddley beat. Um, but it sounds really, really cool and with the acoustic and super aggressive. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. So get that rhythm happening. Um, I really, really encourage you to check out her live videos when she's looping and she has an amazing tutorial on this song, how she loops it live and all the parts that she adds in and what she's thinking and the kind of looping pedal that she uses and she is incredibly charming and I really encourage you to check it out because uh, 
I think she's amazing and she's the whole reason I got started looping. Uh, maybe you care about that, maybe you don't. I'm just telling you because uh, I think you should know. Uh, she's great and it's a great tutorial. Just look it up for this song. It's absolutely fantastic. Um, I'm going to be doing another KT Tunstall song, Heal Over, and then next week I think a uh, requested Suddenly I See, but this one is for Savannah, who got me on my KT Tunstall kick again. Thank you very much for requesting it, and uh, if you guys have any other requests, I'm going to tell you how to do that in just a second. Find us on Facebook, find me on Facebook, you can rate and you, you can subscribe and you can comment and you can do whatever you want because at Mahalo we are here for you. All right, go play. All right guys, thank you so much for watching. To learn more songs, check out these videos. To learn more guitar, go to mahalo.com slash play guitar.